Hello, everybody, and welcome to Uncle Todd for Christ. Thank you for joining me on this, what is gradually becoming a very, very warm Friday, July 5th, 2024. It is 1128 a.m. Praise God, I've been up early, got my stuff done, got my shower in, yard work, a little miscellaneous. Man, praise God. Just praise God for the ability to do these things. And folks, even if you don't have the ability to go outside and work in the heat and be physical, is God's grace enough? Is his grace enough for you? And this, this is so perfect. Today's devotional, the title, the scriptures and all that, the background. Until God is enough, nothing else will be. Until you know that God's grace, if all you had left was God, are you fine with that? If you're not, I would encourage you to continue to watch these videos and continue to get into the word of God until God is enough. Just the fact, just knowing, guys, that we are not, going to hell forever i mean we're talking about eternity it, it'd be bad enough to go to hell for a week for a weekend guys i've spent time in a jail cell before i've been arrested it's not pleasant that ain't even close that's not even close to going to hell for eternity so god because of god's grace and mercy guys and what jesus did for us to receive we don't have to go there is that enough for you or do you want more Guys, if you're finding yourself saying, I want more, oh, man, I'll, I'll continue to pray for you. Now, but I do continue to praise you and thank you for joining. And I just pray that God would speak to you and remind you just how much he loves you and that his grace is sufficient. Amen. Today's title, The Bear God. God, nothing but God. This 100% God, the bear God. Our scriptures, I've got highlighted Psalm 62, verses 5 through 8. And folks, I've highlighted the Amplified Classic. I really like the way that's worded today. And I'll lead off verses Psalm 62, verse 6. And the word of God says this. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. Beautiful, folks. And I mean, please, please click on that link, uh, verses 5 through 8. Again, anybody that watched yesterday's video, if you clicked on that link and you went on there and you signed up, praise God for that. I praise God for you guys for doing that. We got to get, we're going to get these schools back. Too many people are leaving the schools and pulling their kids out of schools. That's not what God wants. God doesn't want us to, to run away. He wants us to stand, be firm, occupy, get this stuff back. Why are we running from a defeated foe? We got to stop. Anyway, all right, praise God. Uh, Hannah Wittall Smith writes this today, or whenever she wrote it. You know what I mean, folks. No soul can be really at rest until it has given up all dependence on everything else whew, and has been forced to depend on the Lord alone. Guys, I, man, I almost feel like we should have stopped right there on that sentence until tomorrow. Let me read that again, please. No soul can be really at rest until it has given up all the dependence on everything else and has been forced to depend on the Lord alone. When you know that God is all you've got left, guess what? You got everything, folks. Feelings may change and will change with our changing circumstances. Prayers may seem to lose their fervency. Promises may seem to fail. Everything that we have believed in or depended on may seem to be swept away and only God is left. Just God, the bare God, if I may be allowed that expression, simply and only God. I'm fine with that, folks. How about you? Until God is all you have left, until God is enough. Is that enough? Is his, is God enough for you, folks? He's got to be. He's got to be. I love my family. I, I love my neighbors. I love my coworkers. They can give me nothing. And that's not being ignorant. That is making God everything, folks. You put God first and you you make him everything in your life and then all these other things will come second and he will take care of that in you and through you. Guys, this is not being selfish or ignorant. This is sticking to the word of God and what we're supposed to be, what we're supposed to do. Promises may be misunderstood or misplaced or misapplied. And at the moment when we are learning all our weight upon them, leaning all our weight upon them, they may seem utterly to fail us. A, man, folks, I'm pretty confident everybody watching this video right now has been discouraged or let down or has had a promise broken by someone very close to you. It hurts. It's painful. It takes a while to get over it. Guess what? God 
sticks true to his word or to his promises. God cannot lie because he is not a man. He cannot change his mind because he's not the son of man. God is God. There are so many promises that he has to keep because that's the amazing daddy he is. But the promiser, that's a capital P, who stands behind his promises and is infinitely more than his promises. I mean, think about that, guys. God's promises are awesome. They're phenomenal. But guess what? He's even bigger than that. God is even bigger than his promises. Whoo, come on. Um, God can never fail nor change. The little child does not need to have promises from his mother to make him content. It has its mother himself, and she is enough. Unless you become like one of these little ones, unless you become like a child, trusting in that parent. Shh, come on, folks. Mother is better than a thousand promises. In our highest ideal of love or friendship, promises do not enter. The personality of lover or friend is better than all their promises. If every promise should be wiped out of the Bible, I, I got to pause right here. This is, I guarantee you, this is just hypothetical, folks, because there's so much in here. It almost, it almost makes me cringe just to read this, but I know it's just a devotional trying to get us to see something. So let's do this together. Holy Spirit, take over. If every promise should be wiped out of the Bible, we would still have God left. And God would be enough. Again, I repeat it. Only God, he himself, just as he is, without addition of anything on our part, is enough. Man, folks, I'm not going to dissect this one. All I'm going to do is leave you with the question and the encouragement. Is God's grace truly sufficient for you? Or are you finding yourself wanting more? God's got to be enough. God's got to be our everything, folks. All day praise. Yes, we love family and all that. God has got to be our all in all. Amen. So, guys, thank you for joining me today. And until tomorrow, Saturday 6, enjoy the rest of your day. Please get alone with God. Ask him to forgive you for, for not loving him and, and cherishing him enough and praising him enough if you need to, guys. Have him remind you how much he loves you. Have him take you back to the first time you fell in love with him. Have him show you all the things that he's done for you. Get reunited. Get reconnected with God. Make him your number one, please. So until tomorrow, guys, thank you for joining. And we will see what daddy says in. I love you guys.